Yeah, it was a good start. There's still a lot of things we could do better, uh, especially in the run game. Uh, and we got Tannehill hit too many times. But, you know, coming back from a bye, um, you know, those guys play hard. And I've been in that situation before, 2014, 2015, I know what those guys are going through. It's tough when you're in December and it's a five game season for them. So hats off to them for playing as hard as they did. Um, you know, well, we just we played good ball today. We did a good job of fighting through that 40 to 40 range and putting good boss. Uh, well, all right, I'm still going to answer the question. <laughs> Say that again, I'm sorry. Is this kind of what you guys were supposed to do today, dominate and inferior your team and feel like you guys did that? You know, it's the NFL, so, you know, to say that's an inferior team, like, you know, that's tough. They got talented guys out there. They have talented edge rushers. Our defense just played a played really good game. And um, that team is going to do a good job in, in the future. I think um, Trevor Lawrence is, you know, that guy's a winner. He's been a winner since high school. Um, and they're just in that phase that the Titans were, you know, 2014, 2015. And so I expect them to, you know, be better next season, the year after that. And so, like I said, they, they scrapped the whole day. There was no quit from them. So um, hats off to them. You got to talk louder than that. Am I, am I on this one now? Yes. I'm going to move this. Even though you said there's some things you can work on in the run game, have you kind of developed at least a consistency uh, in the run game that maybe was not there a few in the first few weeks? I think we're – yeah, that's a good question. I think we're figuring it out. I think we're um, – you know, Derek's Derek. You know, there's a reason why I'm wearing his shoes. He's the king, right? So they definitely um, – was a, was a big loss when we lost them. But we got guys in there that can run the ball. They run the ball hard and, the, and they know what their skill sets are. And I think Todd did a good job of putting those guys in a position to be successful. But as an offensive line, we, I think we left a lot of meat on the bone. There was a lot of situations where um, we could have been better. That's how it always is. So, um, you know, regroup, everyone's gonna get healthy. I think, I don't know if the guys got hurt this game, but hopefully it was a relatively injury-free game. And we'll continue to play a Steelers team that you know, you go into Heinz, Heinz Field, they are, they are a great defense. Um, you know, Ben's Ben, regardless, you know what I'm saying? If they say it's his last year or whatever, like, he is a stud. And they have great offensive players. So we have our hands full next week, and, and uh, we'll be, get back on track with that on Wednesday. What was it like to be coming back on the field with so much sudden change today? It was awesome. Uh, I, you'd like it to be more complimentary. I think we got 16 yards on, on one turnover right in the middle of the field. we got to be better at playing complimentary football as an offense. So, um, but it's great to see the defense have success like that. That makes, you know, when we score on the first drive, it, it takes a lot off them. And when they get picks like that, it takes a lot off us. So uh, we got to do a better job of taking their turnovers and turning into points. And so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully address that and continue to move forward. Taylor, you mentioned Rogers, speaking about the injuries, you know, a guy like Rogers that's kind of battle through injury time and time again, what can you say about his effort? Yeah, Roger's a scrapper, man. I, I, I can't say enough good things about Roger Saffold. That's my boy, man. I, I love that guy. He's a great dude. Um, he works extremely hard. And so, um, you know, whatever he's got going on, whatever he's dealing with, I have no doubt he'll attack it 100%. And, um, you know, I know what he's dealing with. And I've had the thing he's dealing with before, and it is a pain in the ass. It is just one of those really nagging things. And um, I just hope that you know, I know that he's going to attack it. I hope that he feels a lot better come the, the end of this week. Could it, what's it mean or what could it mean to have Julio Jones back? You'd have to ask Tannehill that. I, um, I've i never thrown a ball to Julio Jones, not even in pre-practice. So I really don't know. But, you know, the guy, Julio, Julio Jones is Julio Jones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why they called him cheat code in Atlanta. So I, I think um, any time on the, on, when he's on the field that we uh, – we're lucky to have him on this team. So you feel like you guys were re-energized team after the bye? Did you notice maybe playing faster? Yeah, I felt like we did play a little faster. I definitely, I, when these situations, when you haven't watched the film or anything yet, you got to speak for yourself individually because you, you don't know what happened. But for me personally, I felt a whole lot better. You know, I think in the beginning of the season, I had the, the little thing here and there, and I missed a couple games. And it's nice to get a stretch in and get a bye, get healthier, and then and keep moving forward. So. Uh, just continue to grow in those things. That's that's important. It's a long season. The NFL decided to make it a little longer. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things you got to really take care of your body, especially in December and January.